Hey everyone, welcome back once again to Kayfabe TV. We're continuing our Brawl deck series, this time with a combo deck featuring Ghana the Blood Flame as our commander. Let's have a look at the deck list. Ghana the Blood Flame is a 5 mana legendary creature. She costs 3 plus 1 black and a red. She's a 3 3 legendary human warrior. She can flash into play. And her enter the battlefield ability is uh, when she enters the battlefield, you return to your hand all creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from anywhere this turn. This means if they were milled or discarded or cycled or whatever, you're going to get them back. Her other ability, which is a great kind of passive ability, is all of the creatures you control have haste. Now, Ghana is important to this deck, but she's not really the central piece of the deck. There's one other creature in this deck, in a way of speaking, <laughs> that is kind of the centerpiece of this deck. It just happens to combine really well with both of Ghana's abilities. So let's have a look at that guy next. It's Rat Colony. <laughs> so yeah, this, this deck is one that you're going to have to talk to your playgroup about whether or not they'll allow you to play the rules text on Rat Colony. Some people are quite particular about their Highlander style decks. Um, I think that it's it's only fair that you ask your playgroup whether or not it's okay to play this, this card as printed. If they're okay with that, then welcome to this deck list. You can have 20 or more. You can actually have any number of Rat Colony cards in your deck. This deck is playing 20 and this is the key card of this deck. This is a kind of a combo deck and Rat Colony is at the center of that. So we've got 20 copies of Rat Colony which gets bigger with each copy you play or you control uh, and we're also playing a Metallic Mimic. So Metallic Mimic is there to pump up all of your rats. You name rats, it becomes a rat, it pumps up Rat Colony, plus all the Rat Colonies that you play thereafter, we get a plus one plus one counter. We're also playing Combat Celebrant, Whisper, Blood a Liturgist, Ravenous Chupacabra, we're playing the Scorpion God, and Razaketh, the Foul-Blooded. So these are all going to combine well with Garners into the battlefield ability, or they're going to kind of set up for some big attacking turns or some recursion with some of your rats. Combat Celebrant, you're going to get two attacks um, every second turn. It's a pretty good bargain. Whisper is going to be able to sacrifice a couple of your rats to get back something else, maybe a Razaketh, maybe a Scorpion God, maybe something else. And then you can use Garner to get those rats back into your hand or other cards back into your hand. Raven's Chubacabra is a little bit of creature removal. It'll come back into play with the help of Whisper. Um, Ghana can also get this back to your hand if it happens to die on a turn where you've got mana open to play her. Scorpion God doesn't really need Ghana to bounce back to your hand. As soon as he dies, he comes back. But, but he provides a little bit of creature control. He's a biggish body too. Um, he can also draw you cards if you happen to kill creatures that have a plus one plus one counter on them too. And Razaketh... Yeah, he's one of the big bads. He's um, he's going to sacrifice some of your creatures to get any card from your library, which means that those other combo pieces, which we're going to get to in a little while, um, Razaketh is going to be able to sacrifice rats normally to get back, to get those cards for you to kind of piece this combo deck together. Um, keep in mind that when you sacrifice a creature, you can use Garner to bring that creature back to your hand as well. So don't be afraid to sacrifice two or three creatures if you have them out, especially rats. And then take advantage of Garner's put back into your hand ability to get those cards back into hand. We're not playing much in the way of instants or sorceries in this deck. We've got a few key cards here to help all the deck pieces kind of work well together. So we've got Crash Through, which will help you trample through um, all of your rats if they're quite big in the, in the front, and they normally are. Uh, they'll get the benefit of, being, of having trample damage. It also nets you a card too. We're playing a Claim to Fame too, so get a rat back, and you can also pump up one of your creatures as well. We're playing Secret Salvage, which I can appreciate is quite a strange card to see in a Commander or Highlander style deck. But this will get as many copies of Rat Colony from your deck as you like. As long as you've got one in your graveyard that you can exile when you cast the spell, you can get as many as you need to. And if you've already got Garner in play and you've got a fair bit of mana open, 
you can swarm the board quite comfortably. Mastermind's acquisition is there to find some of your other combo pieces, which we'll be looking at uh, the next little while. Some enchantments, we've got Argyll's Blood Fast, which flips into Temple of Aquazots. So this is a greed, it'll draw you some cards in the early game. If you happen to drop below 5 life, it flips, and then you can sacrifice creatures to get some life back. Now not so good with the rats, you're generally only going to get 1 or 2 if they are that big. But it does combine with Garner's uh, Into the Battlefield ability. So don't be afraid to use it on a big beast, something like Razaketh or Scorpion God. Um, you, you can get those cards back quite easily with this deck. This is the first of our sort of big combo pieces, is Sunbird's Invocation. Now, yes, most of the deck is, is Rat Colony, but we're playing 20 copies of them, and there's a good chance that when you cast one, you're going, going to be able to look two cards deep and find another one. You know, the odds are pretty good that you're going to have a constant stream of rats popping out onto the battlefield. Now, this combines well with a couple of artifacts we have in, in this deck too. Let's have a look. We're playing Bontu's Monument to reduce the cost of uh, any of our black creature spells, all the rats and Garner and just about everything in the deck is black. We're playing Vanquish's Banner, which will pump up creatures of your choice. I recommend choosing rats. It'll also let you draw a card when you cast one of those spells too. And then we're playing the Immortal Sun. I'm not sure how long this card is going to be legal. It might go the way of Sorcerer Spyglass and that it, it may not be legal <laughs> in, a, in a few weeks, I'm not too sure. Um, but at the moment, we're going to take advantage of it. It'll pump up all of your creatures. All of your spells get cheaper to cast. You draw an, an extra card, and it also nukes um, opposing planeswalkers. They can't use any of their loyalty abilities. So the combo we've got for this deck is Sunburns of, Sunbird's Invocation with combination of Vanquisher's Banner or the Immortal Sun. So you're reducing cost. You're playing cards for cheap, those rats are popping down, they're getting a little bit bigger, they're potentially drawing new cards, they're digging too deep, getting another rat, you cast that rat by using Sunbird's Invocation, you draw another card. You can overwhelm the board pretty quickly, it's not uncommon for this deck, given two or three of those combo pieces being out, to be able to lay down a huge army of rats and then trample over if you happen to have crash through, or just go multiple attacks and destroy all of your opponents that way. It's a very fun, very, very fragile, but still, that's the point of board decks. You're supposed to be playing it. It's kind of a fun, sort of casual format. This deck is definitely kind of geared more towards, you know, casual blowout kind of deck, rather than, you know, slowly kind of controlling and wearing the opponent down that way. But there's more. We're also playing the renowned, <laughs> fairly common standard format kind of cards, uh, Gates of the Afterlife and God Pharaoh's Gift. So Gates of the Afterlife, of course, can get your God Pharaoh's Gift for you. It also happens to double as a way of drawing cards and discarding cards too. So this works with Garner's Enter the Battlefield ability, so gain you a little bit of life. God Pharaoh's Gift really doesn't need much explanation. You're going to get a huge army back, preferably your rats. They're going to be gigantic. So take advantage of the creatures that do make it to your graveyard, that you want to keep in your graveyard, and this will really serve you in a long game. So lands, well, this is it. We've just got a, a copy of Ifni and Deadlands. We've got Memorial to Folly. We've got a Canyon Slough and Dragon Scale Summit for rounding out our, our sort of color mana base. And we've got 11 Swamps and 7 Mountains. So the deck is quite light on lands, but... As you can see, most of the cards are only casting costs too. So those rats, we don't need that many lands in play. Yes, it'd be nice to get to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, and the deck can do that in a longish kind of game. You've got enough bodies there to kind of store your opponent too. Um, ideally, you, know, you wanted to try and go off as soon as that Sunbird's Invocation or the um, the Immortal Sun hits play, Vanquish's Banner hits play, or Bonte's um, uh, Monument hits play. You want to start playing a whole bunch of rats and just taking advantage of the amount of power that you're able to generate on the board. Um, so lands, yeah, 20, 22 I think we've got all together. Um, that's about all we need for this deck. So this is a really fun deck to play. If, you're, if your playgroup is okay with you running 
rot rat colony as it's printed, as in more than one copy in a deck, then yeah, they'll probably regret it. <laughs> They're probably not going to let you play too many games with this deck if it does go off. Um, but that's that's kind of the point. Let's let's have a little bit of fun, especially in a multiplayer game. You know, there's there's multiple ways of dealing with this kind of deck. Um, it is one of those deck decks though that if you leave it unchecked, it can run right over the top of everybody in one turn. So yeah, keep that in mind. You might make a few enemies by playing this particular deck. It is a lot of fun though, so it might be okay. Um, thanks very much guys for checking out this video. These have been really fun to make. I appreciate all the feedback you guys have been giving me as well. Um, if you have any suggestions for any other Brawl decks that you'd like to see me take on, I'm happy to, happy to do that. Uh, thanks again if you subscribe to the channel. really appreciate it and we'll catch you guys on the next video soon.